How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about Marvel and of course, everything relating to the MCU. We have had a lot of updates recently, including rescheduling of the films for Phase 4 and some Phase 5 news. We have a lot of reports. We have movies that are going to be in development for Phase 5. We have some news that some Phase 5 movies are going to begin shooting very soon. And fortunately for us, it looks like Marvel Studios is back open for business, as we've gotten some reports that production has begun again on some of the phase four projects. So a lot to talk about today, specifically the phase five 2023 lineup and a ton of other news as well. So I'll break it all down. But first, if you're new, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things relating to the MCU. And so you can enter this week's giveaway, which is a Captain America Avengers Endgame Funko Pop. Just be sure to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment down below. So before it kind of seemed like phase five had been unveiled. And for the most part, we do know a good majority of the movies that that are going to be on that phase five slate. What we don't know is the order of the films. And obviously there are going to be some films announced that are gonna come out of left field that we probably weren't even thinking about. Marvel and Kevin Feige have a great way of doing that, which is awesome. And we actually do have one film that is pretty much confirmed to be a part of phase five in 2023 that we really weren't expecting so soon. In fact, what we believe to be the entire phase five lineup for 2023 really isn't what we expected at all, but nonetheless, we are all very excited about it. So the first thing that you have to keep in mind about Phase 5 and about how the mind of Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, works is that they plan years and years in advance. After Kevin Feige unveiled the Phase 4 lineup, he said that they have the next five years planned out concrete. And they probably have the next 10 years planned out, but it's not concrete yet. Meaning that Phase 6 and possibly 7 could still obviously change depending on what happens. But they plan things out way in advance, which means the first part of Phase 5 2023 has been planned out probably for at least a few years. Meaning, unfortunately, there probably isn't going to be an X-Men movie, any type of solo solo X-Men films or a Fantastic Four film in 2023. And the reason for that is, again, because Marvel had been planning out Phase 5 before they got the rights back to the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. But I'm just specifically talking about 2023's Phase 5 lineup. The Fantastic Four and the X-Men will be coming in Phase 5, just not in 2023. So for 2023, who do we have? Well, based off of everything that we know and based off of what a few insiders have seen and reported, the Phase 5 slate for 2023 goes as follows. Ant-Man 3, Blade, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and Nova. And there's something very important to note about these movies coming in 2023. They each serve a very specific purpose when it comes to the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So let's talk about what purpose each of these films are going to play. We'll start with Ant-Man 3 because this has been confirmed for a while and very recently, just this month, only a few days ago, Michael Douglas Hank Pym himself was doing a Q&A and he said this about Ant-Man 3. And thank you to Bruce, comic fan, for this video. What can you tell us about the status of Ant-Man? Ant-Man 3? I can't talk about it because the Marvel guys shooting with a blow gun. But I think you gotta hang tight is there may be some information coming out pretty soon. But I can't tell you. So as you can see, since Ant-Man 3 is going to be a part of 2023's Phase 5 slate, they've definitely already started on a bunch of things. It's most likely in pre-production right now. And based off of what Michael Douglas has said, it seems like we may be finding some more information about it soon. But the role that it's going to play is that it's going to establish a very big character in the MCU. And this character is most likely going to be a very prominent villain. Now, although we are not 100% sure on just who this villain is, it is widely speculated to be Victor Von Doom, aka Dr. Doom. If it is Dr. Doom, this obviously sets up the MCU in a very huge way. And of course, with Dr. Doom comes the Fantastic Four, who are also widely believed to appear in some shape or form in Ant-Man 3, at least teased. The biggest part about Ant-Man 3 is going to be the Quantum Realm. We were advised from Marvel themselves to look closely at a scene in Ant-Man 2 where we saw a Quantum City. The people from Ant-Man 2 expressed that this city is going to play a very important 
important role in the future. Now we thought it was going to be in Avengers Endgame, but it wasn't. This means that they have some type of plan for it in Ant-Man 3, and what's in that Quantum City is going to be of great importance. It's either going to be the Fantastic Four are stuck somehow in the Quantum Realm, and that's how they're going to get their powers instead of their origin in the comics from space. Doctor Doom could also be down there, and Annihilus, or Kang the Conqueror, could also be there as well. Again, although we are not 100% sure, this movie is going to be a staple in Phase 5 as far as setting up the future of the MCU. Blade, of course, is going to play another role in the future of the MCU. Blade is going to kind of open up a bit of a darker side to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The original Blade movies were rated R, and although the new Blade coming with Mahershala Ali is most likely not going to be rated R, it is going to be dark. And Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is probably going to segue into Blade. Doctor Strange is supposed to be the MCU's first horror-type film, and again, it won't be rated R, but we will, more than likely, see some type of demon character. Characters. And that's where Blade comes in. The quasi-vampire supernatural creature killer will expand Marvel's monster universe. And this will be a new, fresh take on the normal superhero movies that we're all used to. Kind of more of an adult type superhero film. But Blade will set the road for other films and characters like Ghost Rider, Sons of Midnight, and of course the Moon Knight series that is going to be coming to Disney+. Plus. The other film, Nova, is going to be a big part of the cosmic future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Guardians of the Galaxy kind of goes hand in hand with them as well, at least for the origin of Nova. Now, a Nova project was reported to be in development about a week ago, and at the time when we reported it, we didn't know if it was going to be a film or a show. But now it seems like we have an answer, and that answer is a film. According to Vicky DePledge, an editorial journalist at The Cinema Spot, the Nova Project is indeed going to be a film, and is most likely going to be a part of Phase 5's 2023 movies. Now this is huge because Marvel has been saying for a while that the future is going to be in the cosmos, and Nova is a perfect frontrunner to lead a cosmic team along with Captain Marvel and the Guardians of the Galaxy along their adventures. Now Marvel still Studios already revealed that they were going to put Nova in Avengers Infinity War. They were actually going to show the destruction of Xandar, and Nova was actually going to take the spot of the Hulk to warn Earth about Thanos. Now obviously that was scrapped, but it seems like Marvel Studios have figured out another way to bring Nova into the MCU, simply by giving him his own story, in his own solo film, which of course he deserves. And right beside Nova is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy. Now the future of the Guardians is currently unknown on whether or not they're going to go past a Volume 3. However, if nothing has changed in Marvel's plans, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 will go on to introduce Adam Warlock. And we know that Marvel has big plans for Adam, because you don't introduce a character as big as Adam Warlock just for one movie. If you did, it's essentially the same as making Galactus a cloud. Everyone will hate you for it. But as I said, Marvel Studios plans things way far in advance. And according to a recent report from Mikey Sutton, Marvel has big plans for Adam Warlock coming up, teaming up with Captain Marvel and Nova. So as you can see, these four movies that are widely believed to be the Phase 5 slate for 2023 are going to play a major role in the future of the MCU, each being very, very important. However, before Phase 5 comes Phase 4, and we have some good news when it comes to Phase 4. For the most part, it sounds like Marvel Studios is almost running at full speed again. They are not 100% back to normal activity because we are still in a pandemic, but things are slowly starting back up again. The UK has said that they can start filming for shows such as The Falcon and The Winter Soldier again. This means that Marvel, when they choose to, can get back on track with production, which means, hopefully, no more delays in Phase 4. We got another report that says most of the filming, if not all of the filming, has been completed for the Wanda and Vision series, and in fact it's been reported that we could be getting a trailer for both WandaVision and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier at this year's San Diego Comic Con from home. If you are not aware, San Diego Comic Con will be streaming this year. Instead of cancelling Comic Con, they're going to still be doing their panels and they're going to stream them, so as soon as I find out how exactly to watch, I'll be sure to make a video on it. And lastly, but of course not least, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings has reportedly been able to continue 
work during the pandemic remotely. And the report says that they're not actually too far behind, if not behind at all. Filming will have to continue, but a lot of editing and production has been done during this pandemic remotely. So great news about Marvel. Phase 4 is going to get back on track very soon, and Phase 5 looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. If these do in fact get locked down for the Phase 5 2023 slate, are you excited for them? Be sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. For live updates and stupid memes, you can follow me on Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.